Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today in front of me I have a Wink update. Let's see how it will do. Let's see if we are into a buying opportunity right now. And of course, if you like the content, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell button and share. I would be so grateful and you can join our Telegram group chat. Of course, let's go now to our Fibonacci retracement level. Guys, I use the minus 0.236, minus 0.5 and minus 0.618 those Fibonacci here support levels that are very very useful for me you can click here after you've drawn your Fibonacci level you can click here on settings and then you can put your Fibonacci levels I got the basic and of course this one as well okay so right now I took from this bottom to from this top sorry back on 6 April to this top after we had our first swing high okay so from top to the bottom and of course I'm going to see what are the critical support levels for wing for example here right now we might have a very good buying opportunity for the short term as we approach this level and of course you want to buy more if we had to break down to 0 0.0006 around there to 0 0.0007 guys so of course Right now, we might have a good buying opportunity. Let's see our MACD. We will go quickly to the price analysis, I promise you. So for now, we have this continuation of the consolidation. As you can see here, back, back from 6 April, we consolidate going a bit sideways here, consolidate again. Of course, we need to see more and more. Right now, we go to Wink against USD on the RSI and the Commodity Channel Index. As I've told you many times, guys, Commodity channel index is below the uh, minus 100 right now for the very short term we, we might have a buying opportunity we have a buying opportunity if you want to daily trade of course I would suggest you to do it with a profit target around 5 to 10 percent of course for the CCN the RSI is approaching the 30s what I want to see is higher lows for the RSI and the commodity channel index as well for Wink okay so according to SSL channel we don't have a buying opportunity this might not be the case though for me we will talk about it let's go to the Bollinger Bands you can see here the daily you can see how bearish this cross wells and how far we've gone into diving in the blue the MACD line is way beyond our signal line what we want to see here is that we got far distance now and we might have a buying opportunity. We might see uh, the blue line turning upwards while the signal line going downwards and crossing its other. Of course, when we have a huge distance between the MACD and the signal line, we have a very high risk. The opposite is when the blue line is beyond our signal line. We are going now to wing against Bitcoin in the four hour frame. You can see here, I have applied again the Fibonacci retracement with these levels right here let me zoom in a bit so you can see it more clearly guys with these levels right here and we are going down i think we might test this level or we might not we might go close into this this is a good entry it doesn't look so good as you can see after all it's making lower highs and lower lows uh, all the day from back from 6 april till here guys so right now according to wing against bitcoin in the four hour frame we might be approaching this level and of course let's see our macd still consolidating didn't manage to cross here and of course it is still going down in the four hour frame back here guys when we had this nice bull run from 2nd april to 6 april we consolidated a bit but that's very normal when you have this huge pump up here then it is very normal to consolidate and very very healthy we can see here wink against bitcoin the daily daily frame as we approach the 50 day ma it is usually good the 50 day ma still remain uh, upon uh, behind beyond the 30 and the 20 day ma the 50 day ma st still remains guys beyond and of course this is very good and of course i've told you so many times in my videos that when we have this huge distance between the price and the 20 day ma we are having a risk we want to let the emas reach the price as we are doing here for wink but we might see better days coming for sure so we go to our price analysis you can see here this bearish cross here where the day ma went above 
the 20 and the 30 MA in the 4 hourly frame for wing against USDT and now we are approaching this support level, this major support level which sits at around guys, let's see, at around 0 0.010, okay, around there of course, we approach this level and if we had to fall beyond, I don't say guys we will fall beyond, but if we had to fall beyond then the next level for me is around there and of course there you want to buy even more by the dip, but right now it looks very good for the very short term guys, that's why I upload this video because here we are approaching this level where we will see a pop up and of course you have to have profit target eventually you have to have of course profit target another very good buying opportunity if you are a new investor on week is this when we go above the 0.0017 cents okay so above this level it is a very good buying opportunity very good entrance but right now we are consolidating till we reach this here how look how we close we are and of course for the very very short term according to the commodity channel index and some other metrics we might have a buying opportunity we might hit this resistance level again going above to the 20 day ema and we will see what are, is the resistance and if we can break through afterwards this point here then we can say we can get to 0 0.0017 again so here guys if you have a profit target you can invest now 5 to 10 percent always in a bearish market as here but we might be close to something good for win guys i think we might be close to something very very good and we might see the tables turn for wing pretty pretty soon of course i suggest you if you want to daily trade you can invest right now but if you want not to and you prefer to hold your money let's see first if we test this support level if we test and go above making new lower highs you can invest this is our bottom level and of course you should invest uh some money not all of your money into a single support level as i've told you many times in the previous videos and of course this is a good buying strategy buying more at the dips but of course it is looking good right now guys we might see the tables turn four wing let's see what we will do eventually and of course i hope the best for you if you've bought at high do not worry better days are coming for sure guys thank you so much for watching have a fantastic day wherever you are and of course thank you for all the support we take here on the channel thank you thank you and of course i can say it multiple times but now i have to say see you soon with more videos bye <music>